sight in the game to see the boxing boys. And welcome back, everyone, to it's the Squared Circle to Sports Swami, only on theboxingvoice.com. And now join me on the line. This man here is going to be back in action. He had a very impressive 2015, and now 2016 is going to try to get back into the, the swing of things. Once again, I give you the pride and joy of Philadelphia. I give you its the undefeated super middleweight sensation. I give you Jesse Hart. Uh, Jesse, let's start off here with, so when are you going to be fighting next? Everybody wants to know, when the hell are you going to be fighting next? Uh, we're going to be fighting here in my hometown, Philadelphia, March 18th. Uh, of this year, um, that's the next fight. I know there's a lot of speculation. Um, it's been a tougher card. It's been on the, uh, I've been on a Pacquiao card. I heard rumors that everybody want to see me on that card. Everybody, but uh, I'm, I'm telling you guys, from me, and, this, and I just released it, that we fight March 18th here in Philadelphia, main event. So what does that mean for you? Because at one point... As you said, you're, you're rumored to be on these big cars with the undercard of Crawford card, the undercard of Pacquiao. But as you said, this is you're going to be headlining this card. It's going to be main eventing. Is this what you prefer? Is this what you want to headline your own card in your hometown? Definitely. Um, it's, it's my duty as being the king of Philadelphia boxing. I'm obligated to bring boxing back here. Um, you know, we have a lot of guys from our city and so on, such as, you know, Danny Garcia is the, you know, the other guys I, I don't, I don't want to get in, but they, they're not fighting home. So it's, it's like, you know, it's, I'm, I'm obligated to, to bring it back to my city since I, I am one of the top guys and since I am Philadelphia boxing, is I'm obligated to bring it back here. Um, that's why we did that, you know. So on, 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 from a business standpoint, we, we, we took a loss, but from a, from a fan standpoint, um, we, I, from a, from a boxing historian, standpoint we uh we gained so and, uh, on a business side of things with money we lost but on, on, on a on a boxing steering point we, we we gained a lot of you know um respect and we gained a lot of philadelphia fight fan more philadelphia fight fans than i already had because they they had gravi they had gravitated to me because i'm the only top philadelphia fighter that's fighting here and like i said i'm obligated to bring it back you know Bob asked me what I want to do, and I told him, and he made it happen. Last time we talked, I know you really wanted the Abraham fight. I know you were gunning for it. Uh, it's going to Gilberto Ramirez. Uh, what does that mean for you going forward? Because I'm, I, when we last talked, you really didn't want to fight a Bernard Hopkins. You didn't want to fight anybody except for Abraham. That was your goal. So what changes now? What, what do you do going forward with your new goal? Um, well, my new goal is to wait and see what happens with Gilberto Ramirez out the Abraham. I'm reading number three by the day, yo. So I'm up there. Um, the one out of them two, I, I believe it's going to be, I'm going to have a shot um, um, at, the, at the world title. Whoever wins, I mean, if, if, if the title stays with Abraham, if the title goes with Ramirez, either or I'm going to get my shot. So it's just a matter of time. Like I said, I'm, I'm headlining my own part in my own city. So, um, uh, with, with the reason the title that I have, I ha I, I can dictate something. And as um, far as Bob has been my promoter, then uh, that has a lot to do with everything. I mean, the greatest promoter of all time. And uh, he he lets me, he, the ball is in my court, he always says, whatever you want to do. I mean, I, I, it's like he's, he's showing me how to do things in the game of boxing. He's showing me how to maneuver. Like I said, as far as money-wise, he took a loss uh, uh, all the way around because I was slated to fight February 27th, and then come back on a Pacquiao card and fight again. But any, if you know boxing, then you know I, I can't do a 10-round fight. And you, you have to have to have that a month in between. You know what I mean? So that's why I, was, I could have done it for on February 27th, and then came back to eight on a Pacquiao card. But I choose to do neither. You know what I mean, I, I want, like I said, I wanted to bring it back home and um, be the main event as I should be. I'm, you know, I'm not an undercard fighter. I don't think I can perceive myself to be one of those guys, so it's time to start stepping out. And um, like I said, lead TFC and said I'm leading the pack. So it's time to start showing the people who's leading the pack and doing different things. And um, like I said, either or, either whoever wins out of Abraham and Ramirez, then they got to suggest you. Who do you want for? I mean, because I know that you have trained with Gilbert Ramirez, and if it, as you said, it's you have no qualm with him. But it, are you... It, 
I hate to say it, are you rooting for other Arthur or Abraham because emotionally it's easier. I mean, you, you take on a guy you have, don't have no qualms about, you don't care about the guy, he do, he's a, all you know is he's a German who has your title. Would you rather fight him or do, would you rather fight Ramirez because if you fight Ramirez, that fight will get made in the United States. You won't have to go over to Germany, you won't have to do anything like that. You can fight in your hometown if you want. Well, um, I always, you know, I, I, I don't, I, I want to fight either one. It doesn't matter. But if I had to pick, I, it would be Ramirez because he's younger. Um, so he he has a whole country behind him, as far as Mexico. I'm not saying uh, Abraham don't, but like you said, it, it's just different things. People back, the Mexican people are getting behind this kid Ramirez. They're really back, and they they're looking at him as the next Chavez. Um, and um. I just really feel like that stylistically, that fight, that, that fight will make all the great. That fight would be like a war, and I and I and I want to I want to push myself versus uh, Arthur Abraham, who's a worn down type of fighter who's been through many wars. But I, I just I, I would really like to fight Jose Ramirez. I mean, Gilberto Ramirez. I'm sorry. Last two questions. We'll let you go. First one is. Would you consider going to free agency? I, I know you like Bob Arum. I know that you've, you've spoken his praises here. But I'm, you're pro, you're a guy who wants the best. You want better things. You, I've, I've t- gotten to know you, that from you since we talked. You're looking around and you see Deontay Wilder, heavyweight champion, made $1.5 million his last fight. You have guys such as another former Olympic, Olympic teammate of yours, a guy named Errol Spence, fighting on NBC, on CBS. He's making good money now. You have, of course, a, a possible guy that who also you trained with in Marcus Brown. talk. He will be getting his title shot on NBC. So do you want to go to free agency so that either way, whether you sign with Bob Aaron, you go without him, you go with anybody, you can then start negotiating for, all right, whoever signs me, I want a title shot right off the bat. You know, if you sign me, I want a guaranteed title shot in my next fight. No ifs, no ands, no buts. No, actually, I, I don't, I don't, well, Bob Aram is me, and I'm Bob Aram. I think that's, that's just some that's your question there. Uh, whatever, what, like I said, whatever I want to do, Bob allows me to do that. Whatever I need to get done, Bob try to make it happen for me. He's been nothing but, nothing but gracious to me, grateful. Man, my family is doing good, you know. Like I said, he, he, I'm, I, 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 he made a lot of things happen for me behind closed doors. I'm talking about a lot of business opportunities. Sponsorship or at you know the Grant deal, the Nike deal. There's a lot of things. Bob Aram came with playing with Bob Aram on the top right now. Like I said, he said whatever I want to do. So like I said, um, I'm just waiting on Gilberto to to see who's gonna win out of them, and then I get my time shot. You know what I mean? They they fight. They, they fight is about to happen in April. So I, I don't. I, I'm I'm there's no rush after this. You know, we 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 sit down in the books and see what we are gonna do. But um, I have no desire on leaving Tyreek. Right? I have no desire on leaving Bob. I believe you know Bob has guided my career so gratefully and gracefully that to, when you names you just named, them guys is you know fighting for world titles and them guys is being pushed pushed fast. And my when they get there, are they are they gonna be able to hold on the title alone? Or are they going to be, or is it, or are they going to be, one the title lead the hands of one and cross it over to another? See, I'm, I, I want to get there, and I want to hold my position as and, and reign king for a very long time. I, I want my reign to be for a very long time. I don't want the title to change hands from this person to that person, and then it goes from me, then it goes back to him, then it goes over here. And I'm not in it for that. I want it to be the reign of Jesse Hart. That's what, I, that's what I'm pushing, and that's what Bob is, you know, guiding me to. I want to reign. I don't, I don't, I don't, you know, I'm watching all these guys, but you got Earl Spence, and then they talking about, well, cleaving it with third, and we're cleaving it. All them guys is good. All them guys is good fighters. So it's not one that stands out. Nobody is leading the pack, even with Deontay Wilder. You know, Povekin was the mandatory. They got around that, you know. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want to, when I get there, I don't want to get no question about who's the top. I don't want to mention, well, when they say Jesse, I don't want to mention no other name. Because Jesse, either Jesse's going to beat him 
or just he did fight him and did beat him. That's how I want it to be. I don't want it to be like, well, like you just said, you got Earl Spence at 47, then you got Danny Garcia at 47, then you got Thurman at 47, then you got Sean Porter at 47, and you got uh, list of other guys at 147 pounds. You know, Kel Brook, you know, uh, it's, just, it's just too many fighters, you know, there to say that somebody's going to be the one. You know, and nobody, and none of them is fighting each other. So that's making the division really look watered down and clowned now. No one, no one wants to fight each other. But when you got Jesse Hart, you got a guy, like I said, Bobby Ramos got in my career right, so when I get there, I can reign. The reign is going to be right. And, I, and, and, and no, make no mistake about it, Jesse Hart wants to fight everybody. I don't have any picks or opponents. Give you a quick, uh, and I'm going to give you a quick scenario. The USDA ordered me and Jillian Love to fight from the money team. Ordered that fight to happen. He got around it. Been supposed to sign a contract. The contract supposed to be back within four days. We have not heard from him. We have not heard from him. We have not heard from the kid. And these things that's happening behind me, things I don't even speak about. But these things is happening and nobody's speaking on them. But it's my, duty, my job and my duty to show the people the real between the fake. Like I said, this contract, I signed that contract four days ago with him because the IVF ordered it. I mean, it, 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 it's, I can send you the rankings. I'm, I'm champion, the USBA champion. He's raised number one. The IVF wanted us, I mean, the, the IVF wanted us to the fight. They send it to him. They ordered the ad range. He turned it down. So I don't, I don't know what's going on. I know, I know what mine is. It was signed in. The whole deal was supposed to be done. But if a guy don't want to fight, they're going to find ways to get out of the fight. And that's what they, and that's what they can do, you know. Over there at at at, at Mayweather Promotion, you know, or Hennig, or however the NBC thing is going, whoever runs it, that's what they have the manip- That's what they have the mindset, and they can manipulate boxing by doing these things. But Aaron, like I said, whoever he said, I'm the kid with all the ability. Like I said, he said you're the kid that can call shots, and and whoever you want to fight, since I know you don't have the power to fight, they can be fight. That's a good thing. I have no desire on leaving my poetry company. You know, I think I'm, like I said, when I get the title, I'm going to hold on to them. I'm going to reign for a long time. And I am not. I don't want boxing to be watered down. We're giving you fights. Bob is giving you fights that the people want to see. Uh, nobody wants to fight Terrence Crawford. He's been ducked. He's been ducked too much, tremendously. I mean, I mean, people is running from him left and right. We got the kid of Brona, uh, that fight was supposed to happen. You know, you got two champions, Crawford and Bruno. Well, who's the general champion? Oh, well, Bruno will have to fight until we That's what they're doing over there. If they're not taking the fights that they supposed to, that the fans want to see, what fight fans don't want to see Bruno and Crawford? Come on, man. Let's, let's, let's be real. Let's be real. We're giving you fights. We, we're, everybody over here, we're signing the contract. It's them guys that's getting around and going through the back door and running out the alleyway to try to the fight with, with the real fighters. Well, there you have it. I, I want to do about her. Well, we will, we will definitely be seeing this coming soon, but once again, he'll be fighting. It's going to be March 18th. Check your local listings. And once again, I give the pride and joy of Philadelphia, PA. I give you it's Jesse Hart. Jesse, once again, where can the fans check you out? Where is the, uh, the Twitter page, Instagram, website? Um, where can the fans hit you up at? is that everything is at... Uh, Jesse Hardwood Hart. You can check me out on Instagram at One Hardwood Hart. You can check check me out on Facebook at Jesse Hardwood Hart. You can check me out on Twitter at Hart2Y. Um, currently, we we about to we about to start a new Twitter. I've been locked out my Twitter for some reason. I don't I don't know how to get it, so I'm, I'm gonna get a new Twitter page up and running soon. And um, just follow me on Instagram and Facebook as of right now. Um, at Jesse Hardwood Hart and at One Hardwood Hart on Instagram. You know, keep tuning in the box and all around the world. I appreciate this interview last call. You already know, Connie, you the best interview with me. Like I said, you guys are the first here that I'm, I'm fighting March 18th here for the We definitely appreciate it. When we come back, we got a whole lot more here only on the Squared Circle, the Sports Swami, only on the BoxingVoice.com. Ain't no other sight in the game, casino, but-